What's up guys, we're back again. Hopefully you watched the last video because I made the intro for that one right before I started recording for this one. So in this one, I have a lot of cutting to do, mostly because my friend gave me an idea of why don't I take the mounts and step drill bit them, or to use a step drill bit to um, make the holes a little wider so they give it a little more movement as far as getting, getting the front end to move over. So I'm gonna do that, and then I also have to cut around here and this side to get the battery box and the fuel cell to fit because there were some clearance problems. Because now, and I've watched my videos, this wasn't here before. I went over the weekend to New Jersey and picked up a weight plate from my boy, Vic Scotro Racing. I'm pretty sure this weight plate was already on this car at some point, but when I bought the car, he took it off because again, just shell. But it's kind of cool to have the original weight plate to the car back on the car. Um, weighs 60 pounds. Will I need all of it? No, probably not. I mean, if we want to cut it and make it smaller, we probably could. But I don't think we are because um, as far as we've been talking, um, there's a couple changes coming. But um, we'll wait. And, and, I'll, and I'll let you guys know about that. Um, we're probably going to have to cut some notches down here on the plate because of the bumper has um, a mount right there that's hitting it. So we'll probably just um, do that too. I feel like I'm missing something else. But um, yeah, let's get to uh, cutting. did some more cutting after I shut off the time lapse. So now the fuel cells in there, pretty pretty straight for the most part. It was like crooked before and it was like rubbing up against the metal that went over here. So that's good. Got that in there, fitted well. And I wasn't really worried about cutting the car because the car was already cut in certain spots. So it was kind of whatever. But um, my freaking freaking cordless blade got freaking hot. So I had to stop or else I would have finish the side for the battery box but um now i'm just gonna step drill out the holes for the mounts and hopefully i'm able to shift the bumper over without an issue and the other thing that i couldn't remember that i wanted to do i want to take the these off the um the traction bar and try to fit it on to that one but um yeah i let i sprayed them with pb blaster and let them sit overnight jesus christ and um hopefully the the bolts should come out What's up guys, we're back in the garage, it's about three days later, as you can see I got the heat cranking, and um, it's like 30 degrees out, it literally snowed this morning and now it's turned into ice, you know, so um, almost, almost busted my ass on my way over here, but, so last time we left off, I cut that to make the fuel cell fit, and now we gotta finish cutting over here to make the, um, battery box fit because you can see I still got to come over about an inch or so and then um, we're going to drill out the mounts to make them able to slide over to see if I can get that clearance issue with the bumper fix and then um, probably do some more cutting with some more stuff that's unnecessary up front like this like it's off that side so I'm probably just going to cut that off this side and um, yeah so let's get that started. And um, yeah, 
So I notched them off camera just because it was going to take a long time and the time lapse is going to be super unnecessarily long, even though that's what the time lapse for. But um, it didn't really work how I wanted it to. I test fitted it. And um, so what I did was I actually flip flopped them. I switched them to the other side because there's an opening on the bottom of these. It's really supposed to be facing the other way because it's supposed to slide it in like from up top. And um, I flip flopped them. And that's the closest I feel like it's ever been. And it's probably as good as I'm going to get. So if I can make it work with them flip flopped, I mean, I'll just make it work like that because that's the closest I've ever been. And right now it's mounted super loose. But, um, yeah, that's the closest it's ever been. So, um, yeah, I think I'm done for tonight. This is either the end of the video or I'm going to add something else onto this one. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, so I'm back about 10 seconds later because I put on the headlights just to see because that's kind of like the final test to see how well it actually fits. And it still has to come over just a little more to the left, but it's somewhat better than what it was when I first put it on. Because before it was like, I had to like force it around the headlight. And this time it kind of just perfectly went right there. So, I mean, it could still come over a little more, but like I said, I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. And then um, I also forgot to mention, I cut notches in the weight plate right there. And right there to make the bars fit because the bar was hitting on the weight plate. I think where the weight plate sits around here on both sides, I'm probably going to have to shave it down because I think that's also causing some clearance issues now. But that's for another day. So I'll either add it to this video or maybe I'll just make it a whole other one. But um, yeah, for now, I'll see you guys next time.